Good morning, folks. We've got top science, storms, risk forecast for lithospheric and atmospheric events. Bit of a geocentric day for the most part, but not at the start as we find the last 24 hours on our star here at spaceweathernews.com. Got a very quiet disk with the active region having completely failed near the center. No solar flares or big eruptions. Closest to active motion was a lateral filament collapse near the northern polar crown. Those filaments have done a good job spreading themselves out here as a group of prominences approaches Earth-facing position on the eastern limb. The solar wind continues to calm down at Earth, and with that we also see the geomagnetic conditions quieting. Remember, we want green, but too many zeros and the cosmic rays get an open door. We do have a chance to pick back up off the floor with more coronal hole streams possibly on the way from these dark openings. Any magnetic connection to the incoming coronal holes would be within about 24 hours. Let's quickly look now at Malawi. One of the hardest storms hit yesterday, damaging structures and vehicles in a fast burst of wind and hail. Meanwhile, for the opposite blight, the drought in Afghanistan has gotten so bad that it has displaced more people than the entire Taliban conflict. That paints a picture. Right now, there are no named tropical storms on the planet. Most forecasters are eyeing the Central America region for that energy where, by the way, Rincon erupted in Costa Rica for a brief spell yesterday. The global climate report for September is out. This is what's going around all the news media, and it paints a different picture than the departure from average maps. Not only do we miss the recent frame of reference of change in that first one without the blue, but in this case, month after month, they are actually showing that the temperature peaked at some point in the last two to four decades and has been trending lower by comparison when showing just the last 30 to 40 years. Pretty sure they don't realize they're doing that. Up next, the search for ancient superclusters continues. This one, discovered by the ESO, is characterized by seven distinct density packets connected by string-like filaments full of early galaxies. That's something we continue to see in the cosmic web to this day, and gravity does not do that very well. Last but not least, the official tornado trend in the United States is east. While Texas and more central regions still take the highest numbers, those numbers are declining compared to what's happening to the east of them. This graphic shows the relative shift over the last few decades. We greatly appreciate your support. It's how these shows come out every single day of the year. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.